guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to talk about the newest launch from Gourmand Girls. And I know I'm a little late to the party, but we are going to talk about the perfect peach palette from Gourmand Girls. This palette is already available on their website. When this palette was launched, I was on a vacation. That's why this video is coming out a little late for you guys. But this palette is still available on their website and you can use my code Smithy Sony to save you 10% off. This palette retails for $56 on their website. It's like $55.99, so $56 on their website. And using my code would take a few dollars away from the palette. But let's talk about the palette. If you love a good peachy green color story, this palette is going to be right up your alley. We're going to do some swatches, the eye looks, first impressions on this palette. So if you're ready, let's begin. So let's talk about the palette, how it looks. This palette comes with a mirror and it has 10 beautiful matte shades, two duochromes, one holochrome and one multichrome and one satin shade in this palette. This palette, I feel like if you loved a retro palette from Natasha Denona, you would love this palette if you wanted that palette to be a little bit more punchier. I feel like this is same like that peachy green color story, but amped up like to 10 notches. Greens and peaches and pinks and there's so many duochrome shades that shift so beautifully. Of course, you can see one of the looks on my face today, um, but there are two more to go. I really loved this palette, like the quality is absolutely there. There's no uh, doubts about that. Let's start swatching uh, this palette and I'll show you the palette in the outside lighting too. This palette shimmers so beautifully under like dim light. It, it, the sparkle and the shine is absolutely beautiful. So let's start off with the shade Peaches and Cream, Peach Perfect, Fuzzball. I am a really, really tan right now and you'll hear the story. But you can see. Like how beautiful and pigmented those shades are. This green, this shimmery green, it's so beautiful under dim lighting. It has so many specks of like different colored sparkles in it. It's very, very pretty. I'm not sure if this is the holochrome in the palette or not. And you know, Gourmand Girls mattes, like they perform so amazingly well. Then we have Peachy Keen. Peach for the stars, the names are amazing and then life's a peach the next one is like a satin shade this is the only one that gave me a little trouble while swatching look at that so pretty so muted and so pretty okay and of course if you are more of a tanner skin tone these tones of mattes and shimmers except this green shimmer is gonna be light on you so keep that in mind I am definitely much more tanner than normal right now. I'm definitely two or three shades darker. After my vacation, I, I get tanned very, very quickly. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. This, the next shade is Peach Please. I am peachless and then peach out. Now we have a minty green, a brown, and a cool tone deeper green now we're giving getting into more like mid-tone shades and mattes next we have your peach which is definitely a duochrome then we have the peach boys we have papadum peach this looks like a holochrome <laughs> okay let's do that so pretty Oof. the shimmers shimmer like crazy so those are like the peaches you can see the duochrome that's happening really really pretty this is like a, such a beautiful peachy orange to a green shade and this has like a pink to an orange shifting shade like pinky peach beautiful the last three shades we have georgia peach we have peach and quiet and what a peach of me what a peach of me looks like like a black shade it's not it's like a very deep green shade uh, the next shade that i'm gonna swatch that green the minty green shade it shifts to a purple which is like a very unusual shade in this palette 
and that deeper green almost looks like a black look at that hopefully you can see that purple coming through too can you see that so those are the swatches of the palette now let me show you the swatches in the outside lighting too so that you can see everything in action it is such beautiful palette it sparkles and shines it especially in the dim light it is absolutely amazing and in the sunlight too it is fantastic now once you've seen all the swatches of the palette now let's move on to the three looks using this palette okay let's start off with the first look with this peach perfect palette the color story looks so so beautiful i cannot wait to test this out so let's begin i am first going to just set my eyes i do not have much on my eyes let's actually prime our eyes first i'm going to use my alter ego eye primer just a a, a dot down on the eyes and we'll set this with a shadow which is a little lighter a little peachy for my skin tone just came back from vacation so i am a lot tan like if you can see oh my gosh i cannot even like i at least have gone four shades darker <laughs> not even kidding i'm going to start off with this peach perfect shade we actually went to a cruise to bahamas oh that's such a beautiful shade very very reminiscent to my skin tone shade like at least my tan skin tone shade I definitely could have gone like a shade darker in my foundation for sure if you can see like the okay, it's comical like yeah so what happened I'll tell you <laughs> so we went on a cruise the first two days we were in the cruise uh, we had a lot of shows to do a lot of eating to do a lot of indoor activities and then on the third day we went to Nassau which is like a beach we had like our days planned and so like a five day trip like a six five night and a six day trip next i'm gonna take uh the peach boys actually you know what let's do two different eye looks and then i'll take it off and then i'll do a final look how about that okay let's take this peach the peach boys yeah so when we went to nasu look how pretty that shade is it pops more on my tan skin now um so yeah we went to nasu and the next day was like a full like a private island kind of a situation for me and we i was like okay let the boys enjoy i'm gonna just enjoy the next day because i know i get tanned super quickly okay like the sun touches my skin like for one hour straight and i'll be tanned like i know and the next day like the fourth day I was going to be on the beach like for four or five hours. That's for sure. And I was like, okay, let's just save it. <laughs> save it and do like all the tanning situation the next day. So we went to the beach and then uh, boys were enjoying and I was like, okay. Um, I didn't even like bother to wear my uh, swimming clothes. I'm taking this green shade uh, just because I had no intention of going in. And so I was just chilling with my father-in-law. Oh my God, look, there's so much of fallout. Outside and uh, like my mom-in-law as well as my husband and kids were inside the beach and everything was going good. I was like reading, he was reading and they were enjoying and I was like, okay, cool. The situation is all good. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna brush this off, and let me apply a loose setting powder. It will look a little funny, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So we were like enjoying there, and uh, after like them playing in the beach for like two hours, suddenly it started raining. So I was like, now it was no use because. I already got wet. I was like in that long maxi dress. And I was like, I straightened my hair for nothing. <laughs> and you know, girl problems. <laughs> Literally girl problems. And my son was like, oh my gosh, mama, you're not coming just because you have to straighten your hair. I'm like, 
Adi, you have no idea. <laughs> like this is, I can, I don't want to straighten my hair again and again and I do not want to look like a clown at the end of the day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that happened. And okay, now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to do, go into this one, the peach for the star shade, this one. So on the way back, we already got like wet and I had to anyways, like, you know, wet my hair, shampoo my hair, stuff like that, just because I was like already drowning. <laughs> um, and that is when I was like, okay, let's, let's not like bum this situation out. Let's just enjoy um, whatever it may be, right? So that day we went back, we were in like the water slides for a little uh, time. And my again, my sons went on the water slide initially. And I was like, I'm not going right now. I have like my last day planned for water slides anyways. So I don't want to get into that pool water slides. And there, all the water is like from the ocean. So it's like salty water, not on the water slides, at least like the pool area situation. How beautifully it blended, look at that. That's beautiful. Um, I am going to take this brown, which is, I'm this one, peachless. <laughs> That's so fun. I'm peachless on the lower lash line. Just to ground everything together. And I'm also going to take a little bit of this one, peach and quiet. This one, the shades are amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to melt that with that green shade. I'm also gonna intensify that green a little bit. Anyways, the next day, I was like all set <laughs> in my beach clothes um, with SPF and the island. It was called Half Moon K. It looked magical, like clear waters, like blue green waters. It looked so beautiful. I without a doubt that was my favorite day yes i got tanned and <laughs> by the way i am not against like tanning but i used sp like religiously i used spf i'm still like a little scrapey here a little scrapey here and i am exfoliating i'm taking care of my skin every day but nothing works okay <laughs> Uh, the next shade that I'm going to do is actually definitely want to use the shade Peachy Keen because this is a satin shade and that's the only shade that swatched like satiny and lacklustery. But I want to see how it appears. Uh, let's take this shade, which is Fuzzball. This one, it looks so magical. Like it doesn't even do justice. It is like green, but it shifts to so many different shades. I'm just going to do diagonally i'm gonna overlap it on half of my lid and melting it with that green shade just because i want to keep it a little bit more airy and light to my for my third look there you go just because i'm going for church i don't want to look like a clown okay uh, then I'm going to take this peachy keen shade, the satin shade first, and then if it's lackluster, then we'll, uh, pair it out with another shimmer shade. So I'm going to take that and melt it towards the inner third. I'm not sure if it's doing anything to my eyelid. Just being very honest. The rest, everything performed absolutely beautifully. Okay. So change of plans. Let's do this shade, which is Papa Don Peach, this one, because I know for a fact this is amazing. Look how stunning that is. Hopefully you've seen all the swatches already and you know how beautifully it's swatched and it shifts so magically too. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take that uh, outer corner brush and the crease shade what is that called the peach boys and just melt everything together going back into that green shade 
which was fuzz ball yeah fuzz ball I'm just melting it together and just right in the center I'm gonna take the shade which is Georgia peach this one let's see just to melt the peach and the darker green right there okay that's a beautiful gradient and then for the inner corners i'm actually going to take this peaches and cream shade mixed with this shade which is the peach perfect the first shade that we used or uh, to set our eyelids so i'm going to just take that that's a beautiful brightening shade I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. And that's my first eye look. I really, really love the way how this peach and green uh, form together. They blended so very nicely with each other. And the sparkle and the shine with those shimmers are absolutely breathtaking. I love that inner corner like the highlighty shade because that would definitely help to blend out any peaches any oranges in the palette too and if you want like a matte inner corner shade that's absolutely beautiful let's move on to the next shade uh, next eye look what are we gonna do there's so many things to do cannot even okay on the other eye let's start off with life's a peach this shade and i'm gonna take that towards the inner third of the crease this is more of like a sagey green shade there you go really pretty now i'm gonna take this shade which is peach out this green it's definitely much lighter than this one and it has like a a different tone to it like it's more like a cool tone it has like a little bit of gray to it i hope you can see it when i apply it like it's not like that emerald green that you see here it's more it's like much more muted i'm gonna pat that in the outer corners and mix it with that sagey green shade yeah so we went to half moon k and we were on the beach for hours and hours like four hours straight for sure and i'll show you a, a few pictures how green it looks how beautiful that island was it's a private island that was owned by caribbean and it was absolutely breathtaking without a doubt that was my favorite favorite day in that vacation we had a little bit of like alone time like me and my husband where children were like hanging around with grandparents so that was amazing too where we could like just hang around just the two of us um you know if you are parents you know like you never get like that alone time until unless you're like sleeping and you're tired <laughs> uh, but it was it was fun it was really really fun i would definitely recommend if you are going to bahamas definitely like if you're taking a cruise half moon k is the way to go and we just chilled around like i was literally just floating on the waters i do not know swimming i know how to float to come back it's a struggle for me okay <laughs> if that water is above me it's a struggle for me so my husband was like just putting his hand like on my back and i was just like laying flat and i was just floating and after a point of time he even like took the hand away and he was just like around me uh, but he was like, you floated for like good one, one and a half hours. And I feel like that's when I got burnt like that. <laughs> um, and I, I was having the time of my life. I really loved that. I'm going to do a little inner corner situation with the minty green shade here. Uh, which is this one. Peach, please. This one. Like I love that shade. I want to use this shade you're a peach this one which is like a pink but shifts to a green let's see let's take that all across the eyelid I think I've used all the shades in the palette 
and give it a look. I would take a little bit of peach, uh, the fuzzball shade, this one, the deeper green shade, just on the outer edge. Just to mend that with that deeper green shade in the outer corners. Going back into that peach out shade, the cool tone green shade. And then let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara. And that's my second eye look. Really love the combination of that pink and green together too. I really, really love it. I absolutely loved both the eye looks that I've created. I cannot wait for my third eye look. So let's do that. Now for the last look, let's first do the same thing. Let's set our eyes with that peach perfect shade. We've already used all the shades in the palette. Half Moon K, as I said, was amazing. We were all tired by the end of the day, but went. it felt like it's worthwhile uh, going there. Then um, the last day of the cruise, we had a lot of like things planned for children. Um, so we actually, there was something called Camp Ocean, which was like a kids camp. We did like a bingo kind of a situation with them. Loved it, absolutely loved it. We won. <laughs> Uh, I am very competitive if you guys don't know I'm taking that brown shade uh, which is I'm peachless love it um, it was called like bingo astro or something like that uh, so it was based on like the stars in the sky and we got everything um, kids were on the moon excited to get their present and it was like just like a bag of like coloring bag colors they got like two medals. Um, so they were having the time of their life. Um, so that was amazing. Uh, and then we used to go for these shows in the evening. That was a thing like 7.30 we used to go for the shows where the crew used to like dance and sing to the music. There was one day which was like a rock show. The other day was like Heart of Soul where they were like singing all like love songs. Um, and the last day we didn't go with kids because it was like about love and marriage and stuff like that so it was like it was pg rated and it was like 18 plus right so we didn't take the kids there uh but it was all amazing like absolutely amazing warm people in the carnival cruise we by the way went in carnival elation uh it was a smaller cruise as compared to like royal caribbean or something you know of that size and which i absolutely loved because i feel like in a cruise like royal caribbean you'll have like so many people around it's easy for me to get overwhelmed with kids around like i don't mind people around me but when kids are concerned i am always worried that they'll get lost when like there's so many people around this there was a few instances when we were like going for buffets and there are so many things to eat, right? And kids are like running around. I want like fruits. I want like ice cream, softies. And they're like running as long as we can like just keep them close to us. I'm okay with it. Um, but when that doesn't happen, that is when I'm like panicked more. <laughs> I'm going to take the same shade. I'm peachless on the lower lash line too. And I'm going to take that orange shade which is peach and quiet, this one. I'm gonna take that in the inner part of the crease. For sure, I would I would love the shows as well as that fourth day in Half Moon K. Uh, what else did we do? We had a lot of like um, water rides, we played golf um, on the top part. Oh, my favorite part in the cruise. At night, just besides our room we were on the like the 11th floor just besides our room on like the outside of the deck my favorite thing was to just lie there on the outside of the ship like you know the slant of the ship like outside of the ship i used to just lie down there just out in the dark like starry sky like no pollution and like amazing air like wind blowing it was amazing like if you are like romantic i am like reckless romantic like that okay 
yeah i can be in my own world i am a true piscean like i can be in my own bubble i'm a super romantic person <laughs> so i loved that like that portion was my favorite like i did not lose one day to go and thank goodness that i discovered that on the first day itself and my husband is like really really tall okay and he's not like me <laughs> he's not like you know let's go outside watch the stars he's not like that <laughs> um like he would do that and he did that with me for like four days uh but i would have done that alone by myself also if he was like not into it because i love it so very much but he did it he was very sweet that he wanted to do it with me for me um that was amazing like the wind blowing i easily would have like spent 30 to 45 minutes just staring at the sky just listening to music and there was nobody that was the best part like nobody discovered that place until the third day of our cruise and that's when i saw like youngsters like college kids uh come to that area and i was like oh no they know this place now because it's a it's a smaller area and it's open so it's so windy and my husband yeah that's what i was going to say my husband's like tall okay like he's like six one and he if he's on the side of the cruise at night, he's like, are we sure we want to stand here? Like, if we fall, nobody will catch us. Like, why will you fall? <laughs> why will you fall? Like, it's not like, oh, there's nothing and you'll just fall. There's like a good bar till our like tummy, like my tummy. <laughs> so it's a little bit of his tummy. So he's like, you know, I'm not comfortable. And he was like, not at all we didn't like get kids like we got kids we were like just holding their hands all the time so that they don't like jump around um but it was so amazing i absolutely loved every second of it um okay now the only thing that i feel that is missing is like a deeper shade apart from green so i feel like if you want to deepen out any look you have to get those deep green shades in the outer corners just if you're looking for that deep dramatic looks that i generally love to have like that deeper uh, shade in the outer corners so that's the only thing nothing that i like cry about but it would have been good if that was there i'm gonna just take that one of each of me the deeper emerald green shade i'm just gonna take that on the extreme outer corners just a little bit because i don't want to lose that brown because i want to keep that brown as it is but i just want a tad bit of depth there and that mainly can be because like i'm so tan right now that it's not even sh that brown is not showing up the way i want it to on my skin it's definitely like pigmented i can see the brown happening but it's not like as deep as like a chocolatey brown shade it's more like an everyday yeah would love to have like a brownie look kind of a shade right there okay i'm gonna take this shade which is papa don't peach papa don't peach i'm gonna take that towards my almost entire eyelid i would say but just leaving a little bit of inner corner blank i just want that you know that multichrominess to appear and it is more this is like the holochrome shade i think such an amazing quality like gourmand girls definitely never never gets us wrong like they're always there up with the quality like if you love a color story i'm pretty sure you would love them and this palette i feel like it's more like you know um retro on steroids like a punchy retro palette i would say i actually was assuming and thinking that we'll see a lot more peach palettes just because the color of the year was like the pantone color of the year was peach fuzz and i was like yeah this is the year where we'll get a lot of peaches but no this is the only one that i 
like at least know about. I'm going to take this Georgia peach shade again and I'm going to take that on a brush just for a little bit more of like a precise application and I'm just going to take that right there in the inner part of the crease and then just melt it with that peach shade just right there put that in the inner corners too I wanted the last look to be the least intensive but I feel like this has turned out to be the most bright but oh well I'm okay with it. The dining was amazing in the cruise. Like all the day we went to like a restaurant name like Inspiration Restaurant. It was so amazing. Like you'll get all kind of cuisines there. Uh, and the staff was absolutely, absolutely amazing. And this is my first time that I'm going to a cruise. And um, I, I would say like everybody should like experience it once. Is it like going gaga over? No, I don't think so. Uh, but I mean, like I, I personally feel like any time with family is like a vacation time. Um, so I, I don't like expect everybody to go out on a cruise for that. Um, but I did like the time that I spent there. Let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara. And that's my final look. I really love all the three looks that I created. Like everything turned out to be a little different than the other. But yes, you have to love a good peach and a green color story to love this palette. I feel like the only dud for me in this palette was that peachy keen shade. Uh, but I'm really sure like if I use this in like my inner corners, it'll be perfect. Let's, let's actually do that and see. Like how can it perform? Because it's like a sheeny shade, I am not big on like sheens. Yeah, see, it, it works beautifully as like a inner corner shade. This color story is really amazing. If you love a good peach and a green, this is absolutely beautiful. I feel like to complement this, I would have loved to have a deeper brown shade or a deeper burgundy brown shade instead of like this green. Um, the, these are different for sure I think I would have been okay just eliminating this green just because we have this and this and that can give us a similar version of this if we mix it together so I, I think I would have loved if this was like a burgundy brown shade but otherwise the palette is absolutely amazing I really really love playing with this palette there's no duds i absolutely love gourmand girls formula too i absolutely loved all the eye looks you guys let me know in the comment section below out of the three looks that i created which one was your favorite i actually do not know i feel like everything turned out to be so like different but same same i really like it i really like the palette uh but yes that's all for today guys if you did like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up a lot more palette videos are coming very very soon i have with me the cool trills palette and the neutrals palette from cosmic brushes which will be coming up very very soon so stay tuned for that but that's all for today if you did like it you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys